All right, y'all, this is what we got to work on today on the car here. We are not going wide open throttle and have not been going wide open throttle. I don't know if you can tell, I got one bolt in this right here. This is a regular Mustang bracket to hold the fuel throttle cable, but it moves. So I'm still liking a little bit to going all the way wide open throttle. So each pass that I made, it, the only two passes we've been able to do so far hasn't been wide open. So to remedy that, we got uh, an Elderbrock uh, throttle cable assembly for the carburetor we're going to put on. And I think this is the parts number for that. I don't know if you can see that or not. Right there. That's for an Elderbrock carburetor. And then I got this little piece here. Yeah, I drop it right on the car, but holds a factory forward throttle cable. So there's the part number for that. Oh, where are you going, buddy? Anyways, all right, there's the parts number for that one. And we got a, yeah, I got a sticker over there too. I like stickers. But we got a little uh, heat bag or heat shield uh, for the starter to try to take some of the heat off of it because uh, we've just been... The headers have been killing them, so we're going to try this little bag. And then once we pull the motor back out and uh, freshen it up, fix the little small leaks we still have, uh, we're going to wrap the headers too. So, Anyways, and another thing what we're doing, uh, changing carburetors. My dad wants me to take, since this is an electric choke, and the one on the T-bucket, work my way around all this stuff here. The one right here on the T-bucket. Now let me pause y'all. Right, the one on the T-bucket here is a uh, manual choke. So we're going to use this one on that car. Uh, so we ain't got to mess with the choker setting. We can set it on there and not worry about it on this one. Dad's afraid that me messing with the electric choke, we're not even using it. So... We're going to put it on here for now to keep this car moving around. My dad hasn't been driving this one. Um, the uh, the steering rod snapped down here, so we got to redo all that. And he wants to get disc brakes for the front, but that's another deal. But when he rolls down on it real hard, the front end will pick up, and it broke the uh, steering linkage the last time. So he, it's just been sitting here, but he wants to put disc brakes on the front, just redo the whole front end of the car and the uh, steering and everything but that's another project but anyway the main thing today is to swap carburetors from this car and put it on the mustang and vice versa so now let me get my tools out and some rags and get this taken care of all right i'll hold y'all taters in a bit i'll catch everybody up where i'm at i got the carburetor switched over i had to go to the parts house and it uh advanced and this is what i got um uh, Few. Anyway, it's different linkages that way it, it would screwed right in There was one in there that screwed right into this piece for the uh, springs So I didn't have to come up with no bolt on the other side and, and hold it on so Yeah, I got the springs on good that worked out great only thing I had to do with this Ford one I had to turn it around for the bolt to hold it right there and then I got my linkage set there got everything plugged off uh, on the carburetor the gas, I'm still working on the gas line. I'm bending a new gas line here. I don't know if you can see that. But I'm bending, let me show y'all. This is the old one that was on the car. See how it's bent right there. And it was touching, this one's still touching. This one I have here, this uh, line bender is Earl. It doesn't bend real tight, you know, so you can see the loops that it bends right there. It's as tight as I can bend it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this off right here about a half inch or so and then reflare this out so it'll put me a little bit closer so then then that keeps me you know I want it about yay big take about yay much off Not yay <laughs> but anyways I'm gonna cut it right here reflare it put it on and then that should have us good to go with a new gas line there and I got to finish up on my dad's putting this back on my dad's car it's all bolted down I got the linkage left to hook up and that said on that and doing this over here so yeah all right let me get back busy and i'll holler at y'all taters later 
Okay, so we're wide open, right? You agree? We're going wide open now? Right. So we're going wide open now, right? Wide open. wide open, okay. We're wide open now. That's everything we got. Uh, the link is hooked up. That's what mine looks like right there. Of course, you got to get longer uh, carburetor studs right here to accommodate this plate. And then, like I said, the only thing I had to do for the, the forward linkage here, the bolt was back. I had to flip it around. And uh, other than that, that's it, man. We got our gas line bent. See it down there? Get my hand in there, uh, away from it. So we're good there. Before it was touching, I got a nice bend up here and up here and got it hooked back. I didn't want to keep it real tight to the motor to heat up any. But we took off a good bit of length, so that looks better. I'm pleased. And the bag we did, what we did with the starter also we found out, we did away with the solenoid in here we was using and just went basically like a direct Chevy and it seems to be working fine. I mean, it's a Chevy and a Ford, but we used the Ford solenoid for it. Anyways, we bypassed all that and we seem to be working great now. So, all right, well, that's got that worked out there. We're now wide open, so we're good to go there. We'll do some tuning, uh, some vacuum tuning on this carburetor. Sounded good to me, and uh, but we'll vacuum tune it, and then we should be good to go for uh, Thursday just coming up. So, I think we probably missed tonight. Anyways, all right, I'll holler at y'all later. I hope y'all enjoy. <laughs>